Yes, yes, yes. You know who this is, King Koss, the Baker Man. I'm back again. Eat for Life Movement. Here with my brother, Chef R.O.D. in the kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Invited me back in. So today, what I'm going to do is something a little different, a little tropical, a little tropical feel to it. So we're going to do, check this out, Hawaiian pineapple boats. Boom, that's what this is for. But with a twist. Instead of doing pulled pork or chicken, we're going to do it the vegetarian slash vegan style, whatever. We're going to use, check this out, jackfruit. If y'all know anything about jackfruit, and yeah, I know it's in a can, but jackfruit weighs from like 10 to 100 pounds, and I wasn't trying to do all that. So, got it in the can. Jackfruit comes from like tropical areas, um, India, um, I think they have it in like Indonesia or something like that, but it's a tropical fruit and it's full of vitamin C, um, it has a hearty texture that's like similar to, to meat, so it's real popular now, so I'm trying it for the first time, so bear with me, we're going to do some things with it and see how it come out, alright? All right, so here it is, the jackfruit. This is what it looked like. I've never seen it before, so. Got like a meat texture to it. So it's got some water that it came in, so we're just gonna drain it right now. I'm gonna drain it in this strainer right here, and then we're gonna all um, get to the rice while this is sitting here draining. All right? Yeah, so now we're gonna do the rice. I'm using brown rice, all right? So, you know, we got one knife, one spoon. Now we got one cup one cup of rice and we use alkaline water so I already pre-boiled it I put a little sea salt cracked pepper a little bit of olive oil that's if you want to do that I'm gonna add some other seasons but this is a cup of rice right here we're gonna add while the jackfruit is draining all right let's see so I'm just gonna add that in there right there I'm gonna bring it to a boil it's boiling now we're gonna bring it to a boil and uh Put some other stuff in there. Matter of fact, I can do that right now. Just add a little bit. Add a little bit of cilantro. This is optional. You don't have to do that. But um, I like my rice to taste good too. You know what I'm saying? A little bit of garlic. You know what I'm saying? Just to give the rice a little flavor. And I might add some coconut uh, milk later. A little bit of uh, green onions. AKA scallions, and uh, bring it to a little boil, and um, we're gonna cover it up and let it do what it do. So here we go. We got the fresh pineapple. We're about to split this in half. This is what we're gonna use as the bowl. So we're gonna eat out of it. And then we're gonna take the insides and do something with that. All right. Now I ain't never do this before, so uh, bear with the God. Start from right here, maybe, huh? Oh, well, that wasn't so bad. Yeah, okay. Okay, it's pretty easy, actually. All right, so we just take it, go all the way up. Oh, I don't mess up, y'all. It's got one knife, one spoon, and one pineapple. So we can't mess that up. All right, wasn't so bad. Let's see how that... Oh man, that did pretty good. Man, all right. Oh, that smells nice and ripe too. You know, pineapple is great. The enzymes, it has enzymes, is good for your digestive system too. You know, it has a lot of good nutrients to it. Anti-inflammatory, antiviral. There's a lot of stuff that this wonderful, magnificent fruit provides. So, okay, boom, we're gonna put this to the side for right now. And uh, we're gonna leave that on. What we're gonna do, we're gonna make like maybe about four slits. Going straight down that way. Two, three, four. I hope that's good enough. Let's we'll see. And then we're gonna go down this way. You know, go along the sides. Need that to come right out. That's what I'm hoping. It'll just come out real easy. Like I said, I ain't never done this before. It's my first time doing it. Well, we're gonna see how this how this works. Yeah. Let's 
maybe maybe one more cut. One more cut right there. Chefs in the hood, bro. You're not classically trained, so you know. That's how we do it. We take this spoon. See how this comes out. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Okay. Boom, put that in the bowl right there. Oh man, this is easier than I thought. Right. Let's move this over here. Move this bad boy to the side for a second. Yeah, it's coming right out. I like that. It's just smelling real good. Man. Oh, man, look at that. Mmm. Full of vitamin. I think this has vitamin C, matter of fact, because this is good for, like, congestion and stuff like that. High, actually, this is higher than the record, recommended daily, uh, what is it, allowance? Or whatever they say. You know, all that scientific stuff. You know what I mean? So look at that. That's what the bowl looked like. I like that. I like how it's looking. So we're going to take this stuff here, the insides, and we're going to do something with that. All right? So we're going to come back in a minute, and we're going to show you what we're going to do with that. All right? All right, so we're just going to cut this up. Just getting some of the middle part out of it, the hard part. That's the part we don't mess with. I think they call that the heart. We're just gonna chop this up and we're gonna um we're gonna make something out of this man. We're gonna put it in this this bowl here, we're gonna mix it up with some other stuff and uh you know, add that to the rice and the jackfruit later on. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna see how that come out. Cause we freestyling today. I ain't never done it, so I'm sure it's gonna come out good. Chefs in the hood, baby. You know how we do. We don't make nothing that tastes whack. Everything we taste, uh, we make taste good. You know what I'm saying? Here we go. We, um, we got the pineapple guts. If you call it whatever you want to call it. We got that inside the bowl. We're going to add some cilantro. We're going to add some scallions or green onions. Some garlic. And the rest, some of that, rest of the uh, cilantro right there. We're going to add that to this. So we're going to start cutting right now. Cut the cilantro and uh, put it in there. Sam, get this ready. Throw this in the bowl. Oh, big up to the God Planet Asia. Medallions. Yeah. And the pineapple, too, right? As I told y'all, it's high in vitamin C, right? It's good for mo moving mucus out the body. It's also good for uh, inflammation. It's excellent for that. So there's a lot of good stuff with this. It's also... Uh, it fights cancer as well. You know, anything alkaline is going to do that. It's going to fight disease or anything that causes the body to be unhealthy. All right, so we got that in there. Um, let me throw some of this garlic in there. Throw a little bit of this garlic in there. I ain't going to save some of that for later. Some of these scallions, we're going to throw that in there. And maybe about that much. We're gonna use the zester, the lime zester. We're gonna put some of that in there. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add some lime juice to it too. All right, so we're gonna cut that in half. Get some of these seeds out. All right, we're gonna put this in there. As we know, lime is citrus, so we know that has vitamin C, of course, as well. So we're gonna be good, man. Our lungs are gonna be clear. We're gonna be breathing right. All of that good stuff. All of this coming from eating right, eating good food. Who would have thunk it? Hmm? Medicine in the bowl. Look at that. Look at that. Loveliness. You know you could light a bulb with this, man. This little, this little guy right here. Yeah. You put a probe. You hook it up to a light bulb. Try it. Light right up. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna add this to the bowl. You know, some of the other stuff to the rice and uh, the jackfruit, barbecue jackfruit, which we're gonna be doing soon. Right, I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil to it. And then that's probably all that we're gonna do. And that's to taste. You know, everything we do is to taste, so there's no measurements, chefs in the hood. It's whatever you like, however you like it. It's up to you. All right, here we go. Onions, peppers, 
preparing this for the uh, jackfruit. So we're gonna do this first. We're gonna throw it in the hot iron skillet. You know what I'm saying? Let it caramelize a little bit. And give it some good, good, good flavor to go with this jackfruit. Man, I hope it tastes good. I'm not gonna lie. I never had it. I've heard a lot of good things about jackfruit. You know what I'm saying? It has a lot of health benefits. Um, it's supposed to taste good. Closest thing to me. You know, I know it's, it's very nutritional. That's also high in vitamin C. It's supposed to help with your eyes. It's, it does well, a lot of stuff that carrots do, but better, according to what I read. Get a chance to read up on it, man. Jackfruit. You know what I'm saying? All right, so boom. Let's go put this in here. All right. Put this in the skillet. You hear that? You hear that? That's the sound of goodness in the making. That's what that is. Oh, it's smelling good already. Oops, I ain't see that. You see that? Nah, I ain't see that. Keep that in there too. <laughs> That's how we do, chefs in the hood, you know? People like movement, IG, and all that good stuff. YouTube, you know what I mean? So, okay. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna add a little bit of a uh, a little bit of olive oil. You know? so we're getting it ready for the jackfruit to go in, so we gotta make it taste good. So, oh, almost forgot, man. We gotta add some of this too, man. Gotta add some scallions in there, man. I'm tripping. Add some of scallions. The rest of this garlic too, man. Gotta do that. Gotta get that ready for that jackfruit. You know what I'm saying? And even some of the cilantro, bump it. Boom. Might as well put that in there too. You know what I'm saying? Straight like that. Yeah, one spoon, so you know, it's all good. And right, we're gonna let that cook up a little while. We're gonna come back. It's the moment of truth. The jackfruit. That's next. Stay tuned. All right? Be right here. All right, all right, here we go. Now it's time for the jackfruit. Let's see, let's see how this turns out. We're gonna add the jackfruit. As you can see, it already caramelized and it got a little slightly, you know, scorched, not scorched, but more like, you know, that little grill flavor, smoky grill flavor from the top of the stove with all the good stuff in there. So we're gonna mix that in there with that. So we're gonna do probably add a little more olive oil. And we're gonna let this cook for a few more minutes, and then we're gonna come back and uh, see how it turns out. All right, add a little bit of a little bit of olive oil. See how this turns out right here. Smells good. Smells good. Looking good. Okay, it's looking good. It's looking looking like chicken actually. Let's get a little close up. Let me show you something. See, I'm getting the sear, the sear in it to get that pan flavor. And it's absorbing all of the, the oil from the olive oil is getting the juices from the, you know, all the flavors from the onions and peppers and all that good stuff. And I added on um, chili as well. Y'all didn't see that part, but I added it. So now we're just gonna um, add the barbecue sauce and we're gonna let it cook down and then uh, we'll taste it and see what it tastes like. Right. Some barbecue sauce here. This doesn't have any uh, soy or anything like that. It's just, Actually from Simple Truth Organic. So let's see what that do. Right, let's do it right here. Turn it down a little bit. Just let it do what it do. And we 
right, so we're almost done. The food is almost ready. We're gonna put it in the bowl, but before that, I wanna put, get some coconut and put the lime in the coconut and drink it all up. All right, so we're gonna cut it. It's a fresh coconut. Let's see. Oh man, this is this is tough right here. Ah, oh, there we go, there we go. Did we strike? Did we strike coconut water? Oh, there, oh, did you, y'all y'all missed that. Did you see how that flowed like that? Man, you see this meat right here? That meat is like, this flesh right here is good. Some good stuff right here. This has nutrients too. This has some good stuff in it. You can eat the inside of that. Eat all the meat inside of there. We're gonna take this lime, we're gonna squeeze it up in there. Y'all didn't see that. You didn't catch that. All right. This is electrolytes, this is coconut water, right? So, if you like Gatorade, and you don't want all that other crap that come with it, crack open the coconut. Potassium, sodium, a good sodium. No side effects. You know what I'm saying? You drink this, you'll be refreshed, replenished. But we're gonna do something. You know, me and us at Chefs in the Hood, we always like to tweak stuff. We like to do things the way we want to do it. So I'm gonna put a little bit of agave. You know what I'm saying? You don't really need it. I just wanna do it. Why? Just because I want to. You know what I'm saying? Just because. Oh man, that cheese. That's good right there. Yes, yes, yes. Here we are. The moment of truth. Yeah, that's ready. That's ready right there. How that look to y'all? Look like chicken, don't it? Look how it breaks up. All right. So we got the rice ready. Turn that down a little bit. Right, let's see how this goes. Fill this up. Fill this up with some rice here. Huh? Put that right there. How you like that? Get some of stuff in there. Get about a spoon. Alright. That's looking right. Get some of this. Get some of this up in there. Mm-hmm. This is the pineapple that was in there. It's going right back in there. Check that out. With the cilantro and all that other stuff. Mmm, smelling right. Yeah. How did it look to y'all? I think it looked alright. That tastes like that's some All right, let's go for it. Let's see what it tastes like. Let's see the moment of truth. Let's try that with like that. That's on the money. It tastes really good with the rice. Flavors in the rice, pineapple, got a little kick to it, a little spice. We put chili pepper in it, got the olive oil, it tastes everything. Now let's try the jackfruit. Dun dun dun. Let's see what jackfruit, let's see if it lives up to the hype. Good texture, good flavor. Mm. It absorbs the flavor of the stuff that is cooked in. That's really good. This is really, really good. Y'all gotta try this jack food. It's the truth. Alright? That was delicious. Now we're gonna try to drink. Let's see what this tastes like. I put agave and lime in there, as y'all seen earlier. Let's see what it tastes like. It sat for a little while, so. Mm, 
mix it up, make sure everything's mixed up. Alright. Mmm. This is really good, man. This is really good. This is really refreshing. Now I see why people, why they drink this. It's refreshing. Boom. There it is. Hawaiian bowl, pineapple bowl, featuring the infamous barbecue jackfruit. There it is. Another one. Chefs in the hood. Make sure you check us out on Instagram. Definitely on this YouTube. Like and subscribe. And Eat for Life Movement as well on Instagram. Alright? Peace. Eat well. Alright.